Can I also tell you, as long as we're, I, I, like, I'm basically just talking and not looking at chat at all. I heard negative things about the Chris Nolan movie Tenet. I'm only halfway through, or or does that mean that I'm, I've watched it through two full times? Because the movie plays with time a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen it. I'm halfway through. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm having a, a good time watching it. But I also think that maybe one of the reasons I'm enjoying Tenet so much so far is because I struggled through 42% of The Gray Man, wondering if at any point it became compelling or watchable at all. And uh, then I said, nah, fuck this. How did this shitty movie, no offense, because I, I, it, no, nothing against the actors. Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans, Billy Bob Thornton. Like, this movie has some some serious star power. Lots of charisma. Cost $200 million to make. $200 million. Looks like it was shot, like, um, by Corridor Digital. No offense. Like, that stuff they make is really impressive. But, you know, it's not what I would expect from a $200 million movie, necessarily. And just the the most boring movie i think i've seen since i'm thinking of ending things sorry i was farming too many plus twos i had i had to get some some people uh not on my side anymore it didn't feel right it's just so just endless like mindless action with no it's just not compelling it made Tenet look like, uh, at least from what I've seen so far, at least there's like a spark in Tenet. The Gray Man really feels like someone, because it's directed by the Russo brothers, right? The Gray Man feels like somebody told the Russo brothers, like, if you don't make an action movie, you're going to prison. Doctor Strange 2 was actually great. Nobody at me. That's what I said, man. I Honestly, the people who are like, Doctor Strange 2 was like a 6 out of 10. I honestly don't understand how you see that movie and don't think it's like an 8 or a 0. I think you're either, you're into what it's doing or you're not into what it's doing. But if you really, if, if you want to watch any movie and be like, this movie's good, just watch 45 minutes of The Gray Man before it and you'll be like, holy shit, I thought this movie that, I, that was not that good was ass, but it turns out it's actually one of the best movies I've ever seen. I was, I was stunned at how at how much I was just bored by The Gray Man. I mean, I didn't expect it to be great because it's a Netflix movie to begin with, but like, it's so bad. Was the man actually, oh my God, I saw his face. Now I'm a believer. I, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know who it's made for. Like, why is Netflix so ass at making movies? He's not gray. I don't even understand why it's called the gray man. It's because he's like operating, you know, like in the space between right and wrong or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe later on in the movie, you know, after I turned it off, he it, they explain it.